sitting there until it gets put into something, but it'll have to go into something. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I am absolutely covered in metal and uh, am midway through doing my tubs, which are looking very pretty. Let me just double check my lights on here. Yeah, there you go. Not too bad for somebody that is not a welder and somebody that's not a fabricator. I'm grinding down the other tub now, and I'm using my second last disc, so I have a couple of noise restrictions in place, so I'm going to try and get as much done as I can. Just finished doing this little guy here, a little bit of this. Uh, I am sanding these flat, and then I'm going to smooth them and try and get a really nice, clean, crisp line. Kind of like these guys, how I've gotten this one, and kind of that one. That one needs a little bit more work, but that one was quite nice. And uh, that, I've got to get the Dremel later, which I have up here. Where's my Dremel, actually? I had the Dremel, it was on my compressor. Anyway, uh, I've got to get probably a Dremel or something in here and try and get all this kind of stuff, which is not the greatest, but it's very hard to get it with a grinder. Ha, the uh, age old Luke Fink trick. Hmm. Actually, no, it was Odges that did it first and then I did it, I do it all the time, except it wasn't in fast forward, speed capture, slow time mode, there was no audio. Yeah, no, the, the audio was there. Uh, we may have had crappy audio from this point in reverse. So, I don't know. If anything it, from there is in there, then that's why we didn't have the mic plugged in. <laughs> got the mic plugged in now, so we'll just go over pretty much everything again. Did. Yep. Yeah, so thanks to OEM 4JDM, uh, referred by Michael, who's done his 300ZX with a lot of their parts, we've got genuine Toyota bits for the JZ32. So, this is a R154 inspection cover, one of those little rubber plugs. Quite uncommon to find on a gearbox still intact these days, so I'm really glad that they actually had them in stock. I've got, I think this was a starter connector, the starter motor connector, if I remember correctly. I ordered it because I'm like, ooh, that looks like something that will come in handy, and yeah, I just bought it because it's like three dollars. It was amazing. And then timing cover, I think this thing was like twenty-four dollars, brand new Toyota lower timing cover for a JZ. That is awesome. So uh, big thanks to Michael for referring me to this. Grinding down all my tubs and all the seam welds that we welded on here with an angle grinder. So this is what it looked like before. And this is midway through doing this side. But I'm down to my last disc, so we're probably gonna get one more disc out of tonight, and then I'll have to call it for a while. Sound restrictions, Saturday night, you know. 8 p.m., can't make noise kind of stuff, so gotta pack it away and probably do this. <laughs> Michael's 1JZ300ZX is now running, uh, so you will be able to hear that later tonight. These They're just doing an alternator cable um, line, I think. Sorry, I haven't actually checked what they were doing, I just know they'll screw around with wiring. So yeah, alternator wiring, um, I think they're gonna play around with the tune. Have you got the wide band into it at the moment? Okay, so wide band's kind of one of the last things they're gonna do, and then they can tune it um, a little bit better than what it currently is, take it out for a test drive, see how it goes. Michael, are you gonna take it for a test drive tonight? Is, is that your intention to take it for a test drive later tonight? I hope so. That'd be pretty sick. Oh man. <laughs> it's right. been nearly two years. It's been a, a yes, it's been a lot of hardship and uh, stress and frustration for this build, so it is very, very awesome to see him finally getting it running and it's literally like two or three days from leaving here and being back to a daily, which will be sick. Um, we'll find out, but I've got to finish this off. So Ben K is here with me tonight as well as Noah and the guys. So I'm going to give you to them and they can go show you around and do a bit of vlogging while I'm finishing this off. Time for me to wreck Loki's vlog. <laughs> I, I swear they've seen more of your nasal hair than your face. Hell yeah, my nasal hair is like my biggest attraction. Outside of that, I'm just some ugly dude. But anyway, here is the S14. Um, immaculate car, drives sensationally. Wasn't happy with uh, the adjustable bride that was in the driver's seat because it wasn't staying up. It was bending backwards under acceleration no matter how you sort of wound it up or locked it in. So we grabbed another awesome little bride rep from Drift Racing Industries. We got the MCA Blues rebuilt through MCA and they gave us back unexpectedly the Pro Drift series of their coilovers which are sensational. It's absolutely sensational on the uh, T37s and the MCA Pro Drift coils. So feels wonderful. The Nardi wheel feels sensational. It drives, it doses, it does all the things but look, Ben's car. Whoosh. Genuine. It's gonna have 1J. It's gonna do 1J things. This is Corey's 14. It does 1J things. Wop, 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 wop. And then Loki's building the 1J 
32 to go wop 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 and then they'll all go wop 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 because RBs go wop 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 1Js go wop 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 no, 1Js go they crumb they don't they go wop 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 oh yeah 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 she's full Toyota gal over here I am definitely not a Toyota person yeah look at her I am a Nissan you like the Nissan chassis with the Toyota engine 100% yeah, and you do love an RB20. Look, they're, they're fun, okay? You love them. I would not by choice own one. Yeah, again. you would. Yeah, you would just to try and kill it. I would for a daily. You would. I would for a daily. You if, would. if I needed a 100% just to stock daily, I, I would happily own an RB20. That you could kick the crap out of and have fun on. Yes. No, because no, that's what JZ's for. No, 20 debt for the win. We're going to go drift Bihoku Mehan or Mehan Bihoku Tokushima. And then we're going back in November from the 4th to the 14th. Then we're gonna hit Matsuri. Matsuri! Me, Ben and Joel, it's gonna be sick and Loki and Ben will come too. Yeah, yeah. And it's Hopefully. gonna be, um, we'll oh, look at the camera lens. The lens, that's how I make eye contact uh, I'm with confiscating the, people. the camera from you. Oh. Can't, can't do the nasal hair thing all the time. I try not to do the nasal hair thing. It's not my fault I have giant nostrils. <laughs> my mum gave Star me those, Star all right? Shit. <laughs> I, I technically can't grind until we're finished with this, so <laughs> oh, I will pause my activities for a moment and show you what these guys are up to. Michael, we're rocking the reds tonight. We're rocking red tonight, baby. Yeah, he's uh, way cooler than me though, i got nothing on mine. I feel like the Bilo Pov pack and you've got like the super... <laughs> Bilo, oh my god. I got, I got no embroidery, I need to get my stuff embroidered. Benjamin is down in the uh, lower passenger footwell playing with more wiring. Yes. Just oh, up the white oh, we don't the white band now, are we? Yeah, I'm just powering the wideband up and cleaning up a few other wires for the runs that were uh, just twisted together while we were testing things. So, so far so good. You've had it running a couple of times. It turns straight on now. It just needs a bit of adjusting. That is the magic of a J. Yeah. Hence why we need the wideband. It's nice to see it on the ground with its front bar and its guards it's so back on. so low. I didn't think it was as low as it is. <laughs> oh, that's right. Forgot. You haven't uh, had a J weight in the front of this yet. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, the VG is heavy. Very big, chunky engine. Unnecessary. Do very little. Yeah, you might actually have to just keep that in mind when you do drive it out of here and go and lock that it may or may not be heavier or lighter and suspension may have changed in yeah, terms of wheel I'll rub. Have to go. Uh, maybe not, but... That's what track days are for. We'll test it out. <laughs> it's always worth keeping an eye on. Yeah, it looks so much more different when the bonnet's closed. It just looks like it's meant to go in here. This is it, what it should have so come out with. Like, even the way the J-pipe hooks around the clutch booster, that's probably the thing I'm most baffled about. It just fits <laughs> almost like it was made to be. Toyota engineering. See, this is why I like Toyota motors. I just don't like their chassis that much. Tiny year before I forget. 26 in there would be pretty dope. Yeah, I have seen one, uh, Do you have, like, 20 grand there? And a brick video? No, I wouldn't waste the 26 on that. I'd put a 26 in a Laurel before I'd put one in the 300ZX. I've only, I think, it was back in 2017, I saw one going up Nebo. We stopped at the, the cafe up top and he was parked there as well and it was 26 swapped and it looked, Ooh. it was very, very tidy, but it looked a bit more crammed because the, the um, turbos are a bit higher and further out mm -hmm. compared to the J ones. That's what I'm interested oh, to J see. the definitely looks really good in there. When I get my, my hot side back, I am keen to see the height and the sizing of a 1JZ twin turbo in the 32's bay. I can't wait to make it single. Just <laughs> things sitting there. My light just lost its battery and uh, I need to do a little bit more grinding before we call it. So I'm going to go do that and uh, we'll be back very soon with some brum brums. And then some and then some and there's some, oh no, the car's on fire. <laughs> Time to turn this on. It calculates, uses this number to calculate how much fuel we can use. Right, cool. You just want to save that real quick before we start it? Just some pins. Okay, yeah, so what were you doing, Medrin? Uh, we're just setting all the parameters up to uh, hopefully be able to start doing a bit of basic tuning and have the car cycle all the fans and the things that it needs to do to actually run as a car so we've just set the auxiliary outputs for the fans 
Uh, we've just wired the lambda in, hopefully, but we're not sure on the configuration of that. So if this number doesn't go up, I wouldn't be surprised. But Which we're number? aiming to get this number to go up. Wait, that's the number. The mouse is. Okay. Essentially, we just wired this in, but we don't know. I'm not as good. I use a little Haltech, not Link, so we're having a bit of a, a play around with trying to get it all set up. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go for it. Wow, it is really quiet. looking at really not 65 degree water temp nice sounds nice The JZ idle screw tends to wind itself up. This, yeah, that little guy. Nah, it's okay, so it's not anything to do with that. Yeah, That's an electronic IAC. That's uh, an upgrade from the OEM. More tunability. It's an island quite high, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to have a look at, but I have so little about things. Yeah, so... Yeah, so. so our goal tonight is to set a base map that is correct for the car and uh, in a couple of days Mike will then take it down to the tuners. So at least it'll get a chance now to cure the paint on your turbos. Grab a rag. Let's see it double again.
and it's locked onto my dad and huge faces. <laughs> this is just the shenanigans. Okay, um, I don't know when I'm going to be back here, so I like to seal up my metal most of the time when I'm not here, just in case soft surface rust. Uh, because I've grinded a lot tonight, you know, I don't really want to get any, any rust. I'm just going to hit up some etch primer. Uh, I'd usually use the... Uh, <laughs> wow, I'm not Englishing tonight. I would usually use the uh, primer filler, which is what this is, which gives it like a... Uh, it's thicker, so it, it makes a smoother surface. This is just just bond uh, paint to metal kind of stuff. Um, but I'm going to use this because it's easier to sand off in the future, so I can still work with this, sand it down. So yeah, I've still got lots I need to grind down. Uh, I've also got a primer filler all of it later and then build it up and get these super straight because they're not bad but they could be better so uh the primer filler will be good for that but the etch primer will be good just to prevent rust while i'm not here i'd like some more discs and stuff too so i'm gonna hit that with that what these guys up to fighting each other uh, what do you guys think isn't it pretty turn that pretty well This will actually probably also be helpful too, because it will kind of show me the shape I'm working with. And I'll know if I have any high spots or any low spots I need to take care of. Like there. You got like a, a splatter weld. Okay, when we were doing the welds so that I haven't actually drowned up. So, that's good. You can actually see it probably better without my light on it. Alright, cool. So, I don't know if you guys can see what I can see. I'll turn my light off so it's easier. You can see right here where I've grinded this down. So I've gotten the, the side of this pretty pretty nicely. But I've got a bit of a flat spot here. And I've also got a bit of a flat spot there as well as the world has pushed through in there. Um, I've also got a bit of a lack of world here. Um, turn a little bit up here. That's not bad, but you can see where the, the nice crisp line goes into like a flat one. So maybe I can try and get a bit more shape back into that. You see along here, my line here is not very smooth, which is not a bad thing. This is actually a piece of metal that we welded in. So the entirety of the tub has, was cut out, so. Oh. Um, yeah, so there are little imperfections and now that I have covered it and sealed it, I can see that a lot easier than what I could before. I know there's probably a whole bunch of people on here that already know this, know what I'm doing. Make sure my light wasn't on, sorry. But for the guys that don't, just cleaning anything with break in parts cleaner. Um, it leaves no residue, so once you wipe down something, it's good to paint over kind of thing. Uh, and the etch primer to seal off the metal until I can come back, sand it off again, and then continue working on it. You might be like, why don't I just finish it? I don't have discs. We're out in the middle of nowhere. We have noise restrictions. I can't keep working tonight. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be over tomorrow. It's okay. We'll get there. Just gives, me, gives us an idea on a shape. When grinding session? Yeah, so I can see some spatter, I can see some like flat spots here, down here, I've got to straighten up that line. I've got to obviously do the rest of the welds and oh, inside sorry. the box. No, that's good. But overall the shape's not too bad. Something unique? Yeah, I wanted something different and I wanted to make it myself. <coughs> I'll make it with your help, thank you Benjamin. But uh, yeah, just didn't want to do the whole off the shelf thing. It's not my style, I don't like doing that, so. Yeah, these bits clean up nice. Don't touch it. I need the brake cleaner. You can steal my brake cleaner in two seconds. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. The reason it alerted me was this morning. Like it's got, um, it's got one. Hang him up. You forgot I, what you were yeah. saying. Huh? You forgot what you were saying. No, I just gave up trying to say it because they were using the compressor.
you can pretty much turn anything into a pencil or you know draw stuff with things which is really cool I tried drawing stuff with welding the other day and uh, yeah no it didn't work <laughs> um, it would work but I just don't have the time and patience to sit there to make it work and I kept burning myself and like grabbing it like I love my hands on person so I kept grabbing my, my, my work and I'm like ow 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 <laughs> so I'm like no by the end of it I'm like no